Tonight, many of you watched the premiere of Hunted and saw how the show's investigators used every means at their disposal to catch fugitives on the run. But every day, everywhere you go, you can be just as easily tracked and your data discovered. CBS 2's Aaron Kennedy on just how many traces you are leaving from the minute you get up in the morning. I want computers, cell phones, social media. We're tracing bank accounts, ATMs. Just a few taps of a keyboard connect us to our friends and family, to companies we do business with, to government agencies. Everywhere we go, on the internet or on the street, using our credit cards, we're being followed. We are on the grid. I can see a couple cameras. I'm on my way to the bank to get cash, sure. thinking that if I pay in cash, hopefully I'm staying off the grid, but that's not necessarily what's happening. Right, you're absolutely going to be on camera here. Cybersecurity expert Paul Pete Fish and I counted at least six cameras at this one intersection. Chicago police use city cameras along with facial recognition to catch criminals. But Pete Fish says we should all be worried about the data these cameras are recording and possibly storing. And I don't know if anybody really knows if they're archiving it, uh, if they're storing it and securing it properly, right? Those are all definitely concerns. And is that network safe? Can other people tap into it? Even before you step outside your front door, you're leaving behind digital breadcrumbs. Checking email, posting on social media. Our increasingly smart homes have Wi-Fi enabled refrigerators and digital assistants Alexa. like Alexa that listen for our questions and record our words. The reality of it is companies like Facebook, Google, uh, Apple, Microsoft probably have more information on us, uh, about us, uh, who we talk to, our GPS coordinates than, than the government. Pete Fish says two devices we rely on professionally and personally contain the most information about us. 90% of anything that you do digitally is, is tracked through your computer or your cell phone. A lawsuit just filed in Illinois claims Chicago police used a cell site simulator device which allowed them to collect information from smartphones during a Martin Luther King Day rally in 2015. It can potentially be used to overhear conversations, to take browser histories and, and do other very invasive surveillance of phones. Privacy attorney Matt Topic says these devices can capture data from tens of thousands of phones at a time, up to a mile away. It's like our whole lives are in our pockets and our phones. Pete Fish says the airplane mode setting can keep data safe on certain phones. That's one trick Carl Blumenthal uses. Everyday people um, want to take back control of what information is around about them. Aaron Kennedy, CBS 2 News. Wednesday at 7 p.m., be sure to watch a two-hour edition of Hunted here on CBS.